Welcome to the UT Southwestern Radiation Oncology Residence Program. Truly, this is one of the most exciting programs in the country with abundant advanced technologies and diverse faculty members. When you finish training in medical physics, you'll be highly trained in all of the advanced technologies, how they can be applied to patient care. The medical physics residency program at UT Southwestern is distinct in its opportunities for collaboration, the availability of technology, and the opportunities for research. We provide two years of very intensive uh, clinical training to physics residents. Our goal is after their graduation, they uh, should be independent and also actually do their practice with very high confidence. The medical physics residency program is one of the largest in the world. We admit four residents per year. That provides opportunities for collaboration with fellow residents, for sharing of information, and for bouncing new ideas off one another. Medical physics residents will collaborate with medical residents, PhD students from the biomedical engineering program, as well as dosimetry students. The UT Southwestern system is a very large medical center. We provide service to a large array of patients here, including Parkland Hospital and Children's Hospital. And so residents can expect to see almost any kind of treatment that's currently performed in our field. The breadth of our technology at UT Southwestern is extraordinary. Residents are expected to learn this technology in their clinical service, as well as through eight clinical rotations. We currently have 10 linear accelerators and we have expansion plans to add six more in 2021. We have a lot of uh, radiation treatment modalities. We have uh, regular Linux, we have a cyber knife, gamma knife, uh, HDR, and they will definitely help residents to understand how these work to treat cancer patients. So after their graduation, they will not be surprised at seeing kind of a different modality because we have uh, pretty much everything in our department. Residents can expect to attend and be involved in tumor boards for urology, neuro, radiology, for example. The people you train with are very important. Here we have over 65 faculty members, physicists, physicians, and molecular biologists. Residents are exposed to all these individuals, including some that were very much founders of our field. We're concerned about a resident's professional development. So when a resident starts in our program, we pair them with a single faculty member that follows them through their entire two years in our program. But the resident will also rotate through individual mentors that cover specific clinical topics and specific disease sites. Working in UT Southwestern is marked by a team approach. We treat our residents as colleagues collective experience is definitely a plus uh, uh, compared to any other program in the United States or worldwide, I would say. In regular basis, uh, we do quality assurance for machines. Uh, that means we make sure that the all the components of machines are operating as intended. After the treatment is done, we take over the machine and we set up phantoms, which is kind of a patient-like materials and we do some dry runs on that phantom. The Department of Radiation Oncology offers several courses and all these courses are available to our residents free of charge. For example, residents will gain a certificate in gamma knife training during their residency program. A certificate in gamma knife training is beneficial because a certificate is necessary to practice gamma knife. This is very unique. Uh, only all programs in the United States have this ability, but we offer this as a standard part of residency training. Residents are encouraged to participate in research while they're here. The three divisions in the Radiation Oncology Department support research, clinical, translational, and basic. Research projects currently ongoing in the Medical Physics Division are normal tissue toxicity, adaptive replanning, GPU and cloud-based automated treatment planning, GPU Monte Carlo packages. The director of medical physics for our department is Steve Jong, who operates a very large artificial intelligence for medical physics laboratory. A very strong 
uh, research direction in our medical physics division is AI research. We try to develop and deploy AI technologies in the clinical practice to help patient care. We are one of the leading groups in the world in this research field, and residents will have a very good opportunity to be part of this team. This is a very rare opportunity for a lot of medical physics residents. This is actually a very exciting era to join the Department of Radiation Oncology at UT Southwestern. We're currently building a new facility just next door that will house six new linear accelerators, including state-of-the-art technology in MR-guided treatments and adaptive replanning. Now, why is this so exciting and why is this so awesome? And the answer is because this is what I call the mother of visualization during delivery. Everything can be actually adapted and morphed to actually match the patient's system right now when the beam is on. With the opening of our new facility, there are gonna be many opportunities that are very unique for a, for a physics resident. We have to accept and install all of our new technologies. Residents will be on the forefront of that effort these activities are activities that you might only get to do once every five or ten years in a normal clinic, but at UT Southwestern, it's a routine. Our tube machine is kind of special. We added Exactrex system, which has two uh, X-ray source and two uh, imaging panels. Then actually, we can track the patient motion, uh, potential unintended motions uh, during the treatment so that we make sure patient treatment is seamless. We have vision RT system as well. The vision RT system is kind of an optical camera. We track the patient's surface all the time. We can use that system for initial setup as well. This is very special. So what we do is we just can compare all those modality outputs and we validate each system by comparing to each other. Then actually we can spare more normal tissues or normal organs then quality of life of the cancer patient, we expect it will be much better than uh, regular treatment. In the rest of this video, you're about to hear from actual faculty members in our department, experts in their field. These are the people that you would be training with if you come here. Medical physics research is a very broad area that utilizes a lot of technologies and also we develop technologies to solve the problems that we see in the clinic. For example, we have a big groups doing a lot of uh, computational-based research. Unique to UT Southwestern is we do a lot of artificial intelligence using those technologies to solve clinical problems. At the same time, we also have groups working on the new hardware technologies to better treat patients. In coming to residency here, I knew I'd get a good balance of what you need to learn as to be a medical physicist and also the novel things that are being developed in the field. The 3D printer lab is primarily used as a way to make customized bolus. You can also make phantoms which are used for imaging or any other customizable device you might otherwise not be able to make. So essentially with 3D printing, if you can think about it, you can probably build it. It's still relatively new, so getting good training with it and being familiar with how to design things that you can then print is definitely a benefit in the future. Essentially what you're bringing to a clinical environment is something that you would have had a machinist with a CNC machine do before, but now you can do it at your desk and then have your printer replace that machine shop. Within the central nervous system team, we have tremendous technology. This allows us to be more flexible in the treatment algorithms that we can apply to patients. UT Southwestern has technologies that are unmatched anywhere in the world. We always are trying to push the envelope. Saver treatment is actually increasing the length that people live, and some people are actually cured, even with previously uncurable cancers. At UT Southwestern, we specialize in delivering cutting-edge treatments and radiation for breast cancer. We have two machines that we can offer these treatments on. The CyberKnife that can track the patient's breathing during treatment. The other machine is called the GammaPod. We are the second institution to have the GammaPod in the world. 
Reiki therapy is a very complex form of treatment that can be applied to basically any disease site in any part of the body. It allows the placement of a highly active radioactive source directly within or next to the tumor that we're trying to treat. We will make sure that they get the most effective and most potent treatment possible. We are at the forefront of applying modern technology in the use of radiation for the management of all our cancer patients. We have one of the largest clinical trial portfolios of any radiation oncology department worldwide. Our office space was designed to bring physicians, physicists, dosimetrists, and support staff together around a certain disease-oriented team. We call our office space the tube, and the tube is often where patient care decisions and collaboration take place. Our department has dedicated space for residents' cubicles and for their collaboration. Often the best discussions occur in the common areas and conference centers in the department where we have coffee, espresso, and tea available 24-7. Consider that during your residency training, you're going to spend a lot of time at work. You want to spend it at a place like this. A resident here, at least among the other residents, uh, really tries to have an environment where you always have help for something you're uh, not sure of. And that's something I relied on heavily, and I know my other co-residents did as well, is uh, we really try to support each other, which is definitely not common in this field, uh, where most programs have one, maybe two residents at, uh, at a time. Depending on your interests, there's quite a bit to do outside of work. It's quite a nice place to live, because uh, everything's available and there's lots to do. You have a professional hockey team, basketball team, football team, baseball team, all here, right? Like, so for me, and it's great. As a residency director, it's my privilege to watch residents grow when they get here. All of our residents have graduated with employment. The department views residents as essential. Residents bring in fresh new ideas and, and fresh young minds. We really appreciate residents when they come in and bring all their expertise and their knowledge and their personalities. As we recruit residents, one of the primary qualities we look for are people that are innovators, people that don't just want to learn how to do procedures, but people that want to make the procedures better or develop new procedures to conquer certain disease sites. In our department, we're constantly innovating. Residents are going to be in the environment of innovation. They're going to see it firsthand and they're going to be able to innovate themselves. We have the opportunities here to do that.